Okay, in box number one, you'll see that we have an excerpt from the speech. We shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe. If you notice, the succession of clauses that we have here in box number one has no conjunctions. So they are connected only by the central idea of unity. The author did not interrupt what he was saying by using conjunctions because he wanted a seamless transition making all the ideas together equally important and equally powerful. Okay? So he uses parallelism as the first rhetorical device that we're going to look at. Let's take a look at box number two. The second rhetorical device that I listed in box number two is an example of overstatement. When the speaker, Kennedy, mentions casting off the chains of poverty, he does so to emphasize the enormous impact poverty possesses in America, so much so that they are almost like physical chains of bondage. Let's take a look at box number three. Rhetorical device number three in box three is an example of understatement. Kennedy refers to the leaders of the Americas as being in essence, a master of their own house. And this is an understatement that he uses to stir a sense of ownership in the audience. We all know what it feels like to have our own house. And so if he refers to actual countries as being houses, then we, the audience, would feel a certain sense of concern and we would feel protective of our own countries, and we would kind of be on his side and supporting his vision for us staying in control of our country. Let's take a look at number four, our last rhetorical device. Okay, now we're ready to look at the last device that Kennedy used in his speech, and that is repetition. We promote an identical sense of responsibility for those who voted for him and those who did not. He wanted to let everyone know that they have an equal responsibility in supporting the country and supporting his vision. Now, what does all that mean? He used repetition, he used parallelism, he used overstatement, he used understatement. To what avail? Let's take a look at the final box below. Finally, we've reached the point where we talk about what all the rhetorical devices mean together. Why did Kennedy use rhetorical devices in his speech? Kennedy sought to convey a clear and concise message of unity using parallelism, equal responsibility using anaphora, prosperity using overstatement, and protectiveness toward our country using understatement. He did this in order to express his sincerity and credibility as the new president. So as you can see, using rhetorical devices helps to emphasize some of the main ideas or main points within literary nonfiction.